Shalom Aleichem. My name is Rabbi Shalom Gold, and we're here to present to you Perkei Shoshanim's presentation of the Diktuk book. Today, we're in the city of Jerusalem, and we're here overlooking the Western Wall and the Temple Mount, as you can see. The next 16 lessons will present to you in a way that's concise and methodical the entire structure of the Hebrew language, allowing you to read and translate knowledgeably. In addition to that, at the beginning of each year, we are going to have a tour and a historical lesson of the history of the Jewish people and the land of Israel. 16 shirim, 16 places of touring. We hope through that to encourage and increase your love and share our love of the land and the people. We look forward to these next 16 weeks with a lot of enthusiasm, and we hope that you as well will be enthusiastic in your learning and will achieve great things. And by the end of this year, the gratitude and your love of the Hebrew language will be very great and for the land, and we look to see you here soon. Shalom Aleichem. Y'all come on over. Shalom, and welcome to the Holy Land of Israel. Today, we'll take you around the city of Jerusalem, a place filled with thousands of years of Jewish history. I'm standing now near the Broad Wall, which was the outer wall of the city of Jerusalem, believed to be built around 700 before the Common Era by King Hezekiah, a direct descendant of King David. Now we'll go to the more modern walls of the old city. This is Jaffa Gate, a main entrance to the old city through the walls which surround it. These walls were built by the Ottoman Emperor Suleiman the Magnificent in the 16th century and fell into disrepair over the centuries. After the miracle of the Six-Day War, when Jerusalem was returned to the Jewish people in 1967, the massive task of restoring these walls were completed, as it mentions on this plaque, on the 10th of Tevis, 1970. That is exactly 2,556 years to the day the walls which we saw earlier were breached by the Babylonians. For the first time in more than 1,900 years, Jews once again controlled the old city of Jerusalem and its very special walls. The Cardo, the old Roman road, built in 6 CE, Cardo was a main street that had two colonnades, two storefronts on both sides with a large street running through the middle of it. This particular Cardo ran from the Damascus Gate in the north to the Zion Gate in the south and crossed the entire length of the city. The Cardo itself was 12 and a half meters wide and as I mentioned, flanked by two covered porticos which were used for pedestrians. And the main street was like we have right now, was a roadway used for the chariots and the animals, horses and such. The height of the pillars that we were looking at generally ran about five meters tall. That's uh, about 15, 20 feet tall. And a few of them were found in place during the excavations. And some of these pillars were reconstructed. They were found broken and lying on the ground and were built up recently to uh, copy what was actually here. A 10-minute walk into the old city brings us to a synagogue with a long and glorious history. The great Torah commentator, Rabbi Moshe ben Nachman, known as the Ramban, came to Israel in the 13th century. In an effort to vitalize the holy city, which was decimated by the Crusades a century earlier, he founded a synagogue on this very spot. Here's a reproduction of the famous letter of the Rambam sent to his son detailing the proper qualities or midos the person should conduct themselves with in their daily life. Although it was destroyed and rebuilt over the centuries, the main elements remain, and they are these magnificent marble pillars. These pillars are at least 700 years old, but some say they are actually from the Holy Temple. They've borne witness to Crusader, Tata, Ottoman Turk, British, and finally renewed Jewish rule in our holy city of Jerusalem. And the synagogue is still in use today by the local population. 